This is a HeadGum Podcast. Can I talk my shit real quick? Sure. Let me talk my shit, please. Sure. Are you ready? Yes. I'd like to talk my shit, please. May I have permission? Yeah, go ahead. Y'all not ready? Okay. You're not ready for what I got. For your shit? For me to talk my shit. Spinach is nasty. Whoa. Okay. Spinach is nasty. In every form? I eat it. I eat it because I want to be strong like Popeye. (laughs) Sure. But facts, spinach is nasty as hell. Can I talk my shit real quick? Uh, if you think that's wise, okay. I just finished talking my shit. I like to talk my shit real quick. Kevin, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep my emotions in check while I say this, but it is not gonna be easy. Kevin, yeah. Let me ride my bike in the studio now. <laughs> let me do it right now. You want me to get it? I want to get it. Okay. There's enough space it's in here. Not, don't just let me do it. You have to be ex- excited about it. You have to like it, Kevin. I'd love for you to I'm getting it. so good. Hayes has earned the right to have a little bit of enthusiasm out of you mm-hmm. when he offers mm-hmm. to do us the favor of riding You wouldn't let me do it in the, the small studio. studio, and you said when we were in the big studio, I could ride my bike. You said that, Kevin. I did. Can well, I rules are shit? rules. Go ahead, Joe. Can yeah, I talk my shit? Joe, please he's talk your shit. He's please talk your shit. It's because... great to be back. Okay. All right. Well, that ain't nasty like spinach. That's actually really sweet. Thanks. It's so good to have you back, Joe. I'm always so excited when you're here because it means I'm going to get to see and hear comedy. Yes. Yeah. And I love to laugh mm-hmm. and I love to have fun with my the friends. The worst part about doing the show, about producing comedy, is it's less time to, to be able to actually it. just be consuming it, just to be an audience it. yeah. member. It's like why I got into this. So often But on the all show, of a sudden I have no time Hayes to actually is, watch my comedy. It's like, Hayes is being funny doing comedy on the show and... I don't know. I think sometimes I do it too. And 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 Kevin did something last week that I liked. Uh-huh. But you know, it's rare that someone comes and really just says, "Don't even don't even talk to me. Right. Let's watch my comedy." Exactly. And I mean, cuz I that's it's great that you guys enjoy it cuz similarly, I'm putting in the work. So this it, it is work for me, but yeah. in the hopes that, you know, specifically you three enjoy it right and that you get to watch your own comedy exactly yeah and you know and i've this has been a labor of love i've i've been waiting to shoot a special since i mean the pandemic really we talked we talked about this yeah we talked about this we you know i remember you talking to me and saying um i want to shoot a special Mm -hmm. i'm scared yeah you know Am I even allowed to shoot a special? I remember you wondering if you were allowed. I know. I mean, the the current climate, obviously, mm-hmm. it, can you say anything anymore? That's where I was at. It's very dangerous. Comedy is the most dangerous job you can have. Mm-hmm. If they made a new season of Deadliest Catch, they wouldn't be trying to catch crabs. They'd be trying to catch laughs mm-hmm. because that is actually far more deadly it at is, this point yeah. because of what the woke PC police. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're the last it's line of defense. It's time for people to step up, Pat Tillman step style. Step up and stand up. Get over there. Mm-hmm. It's time to, to walk tall. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. El Camino. Yeah. Cry macho. And so you said, you saw what was out there. You said, this shit ain't doing it for me. Let me try uh-huh. something real quick. Exactly. That's a uh-uh. Let me hit you with this instead. Uh-huh. That's a that's a ah uh, uh-huh. Let me Let me hit you with the ha. Check this out. I'm trying to see something. Let me see that's something. That's you saying. Oh. That <laughs> yeah, wasn't me. Right. So right. sorry, sorry, that was confusing. I, I, no, was, lost. I was talking. I was talking. I was talking. I was speaking, uh-huh. but that that was you saying. Yeah, that, but I can I, see how it was I, he I, does this it was to me. Talking. I was kind of shocked. I felt like I was looking into a mirror or right. something. Yeah, no, no, no. That was you talking, but it was me. Yeah. Saying Hayes is it, a master kinda. mimic mm-hmm. and he will do this where he will suddenly embody with no warning. Mm-hmm. You know, it's seamless. He embodies, you know, another person in the room 
and you just you don't even know how to respond. You know what I'd love? I could see that on a damn bike. Oh, <laughs> is that okay with you, Kevin? Yeah, it is. Off. As it's long okay. as Hayes wears his helmet, safety first. We got enough space in here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I love for you to have your bike. Such fake bullshit. Mm -hmm. This is Kevin setting himself Such up. Such a fake. Wire. it's this fake thing and it's all this setup for him where he goes speaking of safety first mm -hmm. and then he like talks about how he wears a condom all the time like soft yeah well i don't I'm, honestly i haven't asked that mm -hmm. question soft has to well, uh -huh. the, he, he is but the condom is is very rigid it's, yes Okay, it's, it's like a, like a, a hard poly lens. like yeah. a, a urethane. It's like a, a composite, plastic composite. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess in his defense, it's like it does kind of make sense that like why is the condom so soft when like Didi's supposed to be hard? Yeah, right. It doesn't seem fair. It's, it's like a whole, oh okay, just pick a lane, right? Yeah. It's oh. Oh, I'm too soft. It's like dress for the job you want, I guess. Is. <laughs> oh, I'm too soft. Why don't you fucking yeah. hold yourself accountable? Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Clean your side of the street first, exactly. condom, before you come knocking on my door. Right, right. Like that's that's mm -hmm. been my issue. I thought you were here to help. It's been one of my issues. I have a few issues. <laughs> but, but one of them is the audacity of the condom. I've been 3D printing condoms mm. for friends. So. Ghost condoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can Untraceable. walk right through a metal detector. Mm -hmm. you, uh, dude, Kevin, if you go into the airport, I'll, yeah. I'll hook you up. You can Whoa. get on the plane. You can yeah. get on the plane. No serial with a number. Full condom. You have to assemble it inside Comes the bathroom. Comes in parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to get into some of this content oh, you uh, you shot this a, a couple weeks ago yes, yeah talking about the process it. with the special because you said you were you were scared to do it you didn't know if you could now yeah. then finally you just said and i've just been i've been F it. i've been fuck it and then i went on the let road let me talk my shit let me talk my shit i've been touring nonstop for you about know a year i read something that even having your phone out even if it's face down yeah. diminishes the quality of conversation so i just realized this was here oh i apologize because you're saying your thing yeah no, me yeah. too. And yeah, just shot the special. I'm currently editing it. Uh, it's not out yet, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh -huh. uh, I don't even have a buyer, but uh, you know, this is the new way of of producing stand up. And well, yeah. yeah, I mean, because they're just as scared as we are, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, you think about trying to find a buyer for um, the crabs they would catch on deadliest catch you know like that it's similar where it's like they have to catch them first the exactly. grocery because store right. go, the grocery yeah. store is scared at this point oh well, yeah king That's crabs what? are scary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the original king crabs yeah. of comedy go off king yeah right crab uh so yeah i, I i'm i'm so proud of you just for even doing it thank you no matter yeah. what it is yeah. and i know it's gonna be funny and i know it's gonna be in your face yeah uh one thing i love about where you put your phone is like right next to my drink it makes me think you want me to like drink your phone or something oh i'm so sorry you know I, mean? um here i'll put do you it wanna, yeah uh I'll should put do we want to bury him do no, we want to dig a hole and bury him outside i also don't want to diminish my drink put my shoe yeah do we want to dig a hole and bury the phone i said outside? i wanted to get it oh my i said i wanted to get my bike It's feeling like because I, I do want to get into the comedy special too. Yeah, and like something I love uh, about Joe's voice, mm. um, in, in terms of just like pulling punches, he doesn't do that. No, it's <laughs> true. I mean, that is true. You know, he does the full yeah. entire punch. And he like takes his gloves off, but not like. That he's not gonna like do the fight anymore, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Because you might think like someone takes their gloves, gloves off because oh, they're, they're like because like the they decided fight is over, or they yeah. decided not to do it. Oh no, I'm like I want yeah. bare knuckles, right? Yeah, to face contact. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I I I love and I admire that, and it's a way that you could get your hands hurt. Yeah, but that's part of what makes it so. Well, that's the brave. that's the craft. And they have to do it too. I mean, if you're taking yours off, then they they should have to. Take oh, it them goes off both ways. Well. And I yeah. So like, 
I'm willing to get hurt for my craft. And yeah, and I think my, the audience knows that they're at risk. Yeah, mm-hmm. and what happens show. is probably like you both punch each other's like fists in the yeah. air. That's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, like that's yeah. basically oh, night that night at this point. Kills. I'm done if that happens. I oh. like. Oh, I think no. the whole th- shit is done if. Y'all ever played if Bloody Knuckles? If anything happens to me at all, basically, it's over. White Knuckles? Bloody, Bloody Knuckles. Bloody Knuckles. Okay. Um, I used to play, and what's the name of it? The Slap Game? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, I mean, honestly, that's sort of an inspiration for- Your comedy. My comedy, how I yeah. ended up here. The Slap Game? I played a game that yeah. was like they, I, I, like, they didn't tell me what the name was, but I think it was Bloody Knuckles. Uh-huh. Based on- like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. I have- Oh, I have played. I played it. some game that was like, yeah, I think that's, I think that must have been that would. If that's not what it's called, it should be. That would be a great well, what, name. Did for you end it. up with Bloody Knuckles? No, oh, not no. in the one I played. Yeah. No, it was like you had different colored dice, yeah. and uh, and there were different colored snails on like a mm-hmm. board, mm-hmm. and if huh. your color snail got rolled on the dice, you got to move forward. Mm-hmm. Sounds intense. And yeah. there was like a draw. There's like a draw pile, um, and a and like a little don't like a thing like a button you could like press a thing you middle. pushed yeah yeah, yeah. Huh. and there was um uh the definitions of some unusual words mm-hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> so it sounds like four board games kind of mixed together. stacked on top of yeah. each other yeah. yes yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. Four, yeah. yeah. Four. no didn't work so i uh, uh um uh so i guess i just like i'm sick of talking and i just actually want to relax Bedtime. and like just like shut off my brain and just like enjoy. we are going like, Mimi's mode in here right so, now. somebody did the work and like why don't I just let them carry me home uh, so okay uh, yeah let's laugh I, you know you said it since you shot it recently it hasn't come out yet nobody's yeah, seen it no one's seen it so if we do find something and I don't expect to but if yeah. we find something that maybe could get plussed up sure with a little ADR Sh- okay yeah I mean, you know, Hayes sometimes will think of a really, I mean, he could do you, he could do your voice. He could think of a I mean, I saw really that funny, yeah. Yeah. he think of a really funny yeah. button on something and yeah. it will make me just die and laugh. Do you want me to do that? Really I, I mean, I'm stuff. not, I, I'm not against it. I would love to okay. see what, like how you could improve. Well, let's okay. plus up the, yeah. uh, the special yeah. if possible. Wait, you You're have, never going to be. Um, you have the special. We have footage. I, I don't know if it's fully edited, Kevin. You've been working it might be on. Raw. Huh, well, yeah, it would be raw. I mean, it. Which is what Kevin. Yeah, that's one thing Kevin never. The is. opposite yeah. of, of raw. He is. He is fully, fully, fully steamed baked. and cooked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am noticing as, as you see me release here that my microphone is suffering from ED. Joe's is having that issue too. Yeah. I'm sort of wondering if you have appropriated some. <laughs> Components, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, for and the maybe mechanism, some, some structural elements of the microphone have been removed and placed somewhere else, perhaps in the walls of the rigid condom. <laughs> I mean, I was, I, I didn't want to say anything, but you're rock hard. Yeah, and I'm also sort of wondering. We talked about getting the thing on the plane, the the missing bolts of the Alaska Airlines panel. Did they ever find those? Yeah, right. And right. it seemed to, they seemed to take they they came off from the inside. It seemed. Yes. Yes. Huh. Kevin. They, Kevin they haven't has found been them. Jangling. They haven't found them. Kevin, you're you you might be better at this than I. I know you'll be better at this than I am. Kevin's been asking me mm. for a setup to what he says is a perfect punchline, uh, which is why don't they make the whole plane out of the three D printed condom? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch some of this. My New Year's resolution for 2024 is to finish Oppenheimer in 2025. Like, seriously, it's, I'm almost there. I love Oppenheimer, it's, especially the first season. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's, okay. Talk, let's talk about it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, guys, it happened again. This isn't. This isn't this isn't edited the way that you were expecting. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, no, this is it. This is it. it. Just trust me. It's gonna Just be trust helpful. me. It's going to be helpful. Th- this for you this will be very helpful for you. A uh, lot of eyeballs, and also a lot of the shit you talk about when I watch your stand up, which by the way I love. But you're talking about like 
going to the bathroom, having sex with animals, right. like things that I think people don't really well, want. The one we this, actually watched like, did not even mention Oppenheimer. It didn't. <laughs> You Oppen didn't have Oppenheimer. Well, there were no, yeah. there were no movies. There was no Oppenheimer. <laughs> there was it, it. It really was to me very alienating. Yeah, um, and especially if, as someone who wants to work in entertainment, ideally, I think you should. I should be, be talking about it Oppenheimer and things Oppenheimer that you know. and and it's I okay okay I can I'll do it again. Um, yeah, so I guess I was thinking. Yeah, you know, what was the genesis of this? Because I, I love the joke yeah i think you know i just don't understand. i remember watching oppenheimer and thinking this is a long one i'm loving it but i i am with you uh -huh. a little bit it was Do you remember a that it was kind of movie. long and then i was thinking yes. um um you know what if i said uh season one it, sort of yeah implying that because that's uh, I had the defining watched. quality of TV is this longness. Yes, yes, yes. and the seasons are even longer sometimes than a movie. Yeah, I mean, am I wrong? Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it, does it does it does it bump you at all? And I and I don't that um, Killers of the Flower Moon is like a full hour longer. Uh huh. I never mind. No, I. <laughs> I, I just went like, with Op at Homer yeah. Yeah. and I just, cause that's sort of more in the zeitgeist. Yeah, no, I mean, Oppenheiser's nominated for so many more awards and it's like, um, you know, I, there were probably better people to cut to. Absolutely. And stuff, yeah. And like, I mean like the, no, by the way, congratulations on getting the crowd. Chris Nolan and all these other people <laughs> yeah. to like check out your shit. You said yeah. I recorded a special. I pictured you in a theater with a bunch of the kind of scum. No, no, I come pulled, to our last I, <laughs> I yeah. will admit I pulled every, single favor I could and I thought it'd be fun to just sort of arrange them into tables numbered tables um, with That's bouquets and such but and like people yeah. were into it people it paid off huge yeah Chris is loving this yeah he, like he actually gets it because he made Oppenheimer's well and he thought it was long yeah he was he like must why the have. fuck am I not cutting I mean he's out. cracking up yeah and I and I, you know and I don't need most of this he was saying yeah this is all just filler yeah studio wanted it longer um so yeah i, I think it, i think ultimately I, I was just sort of poking fun at the at the length of the movie <laughs> i i love that idea and and now i really get it yeah yeah and yeah. you know because like thematically i didn't want to go there yeah there's a lot of stuff that is is just not funny no there are concepts about... inside it that i don't think really would lead to anything juicy comedically mm -hmm. but right. the but the movie runtime yeah, dude. of of open holer uh -huh. is is actually something that like it's fair game. It is, and it's just fun. And it's like I feel like I'm ready for. Like, I'm settled in. Now, uh -huh. You know what I mean? I mean that's my I, open. Yes. I know I'm All in right? good hands. Yes, yeah. that's your <laughs> opener homework. Uh, my ho ho Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. <laughs> Oppenheimer answered a lifelong question that's been on my mind for years. Yes, scientists do get laid. As long as they look like Killian Murphy. Uh. Oppenheimer and Barbie are competing for cinematic box office achievement. Okay, all right, all right. They Oppenheimer are. They is based it. on a 721-page Pulitzer Prize-winning book about the Manhattan Project. And Barbie is on a plastic doll with big boobies. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, can we just say how good my teeth look? Yeah, they look they they look worn in. Yeah. They've been around for a bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. You I, seem I, comfortable with them, which is like such a big part of having teeth. Well, it's it's all about confidence. Yeah. Really. Yeah, no, it's it just feels like confidence is the biggest part of having teeth in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's 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 so sort you of can't a... think about it too much. No. Yeah. yeah. You just if you're like futzing with them all the time, you know. Yeah. Then uh, it just doesn't. It makes other people uncomfortable, and like that's not what you want in a no. stand-up show. I mean, you can make them uncomfortable with some of your content. Sure. No, but I just just teeth wise, I just want to mention I crushed it, and I think. Uh, a lot of the credit goes to um, my crew for just sort of emphasizing that. 
No, I mean, there's, there's like obviously a, pit, a lighting it's like a pit design. crew, right? I mean, like you, yeah, you, yeah. People think of a crew like you're, like your team, you're like your hair, makeup, whatever. But they have the same equipment. Yeah, as a, as a yeah. Pit crew. A lot of wrenches about, and people talk about a stand-up special like you just like it's like just a man and a mic and you yes. walk out there. It's like no, there's a whole no, team supporting whole, you. Right. Every time they cut off, away, they're coming in. Right. <laughs> yeah. Every go, go. yeah commercial break. I had a lot of commercial yeah. breaks in my special, weirdly, but yeah, every commercial break it was just a lot of work done as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. But it like it's, clockwork. Yeah. But it looked. I mean, I I never saw them on stage, mm-hmm. and uh, I never stopped thinking about the teeth. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Me uh, neither. Yeah. So I do want to. Um, did you want to talk about this joke at all? Oh, I mean, I have no issues with it. I thought it landed. I thought it. I guess I think it was a good I know I thought that was a good observation well it was brand new which was cool but I I think (laughs) what um I was curious because and Greta loves this is this is oh my god you see her and she is like yes like knows exactly what to do (laughs) with her face Uh uh-huh because you've put her in such a comfortable position right Right, and, and that's the thing is like you're just you're cared for when you go to a Joe yes. Mandy show. Right, but I think this could be educational for our audience uh-huh. in terms of there are all these micro decisions that go into making a joke, into crafting a joke for sure, and like word choice, yes, can seem obvious in uh-huh. retrospect, uh-huh. but you could have said. You know what the the setup the first half we know it it's, it's uh-huh. a seven hundred page book right and you know that's the for the mm-hmm. literary elite but on the second half you could have said based on a toy right mm-hmm. based on a plastic doll right or, yeah. based on a buxom plastic mm-hmm. doll uh-huh. based on a plastic doll with big honking taters uh-huh. uh, you know because that's you said, your yeah. association and I think for almost all of us when we see when we see a Barbie a Barbie we're like. Look at them boobies. She's 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 pa- she's she's packing pi- packing firepower. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's no way around it. Like it's uh, in terms of the the upstairs section, right? You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know. I, a, I had an all. There's so much I had more. All, yes. Uh, go I, ahead. I mean, I just the, I yeah. just kept it simple. I was like pl- big plastic boobies. Big big boobies. Uh, yeah. But you know, I you seem co- comfortable saying it. I loved it. I, I, you know, that ultimately is just like it rolls off the tongue. It's my style. Um, I remember in the room, someone made the point that, like, you as, as to your observation about firepower, I, I yes. was like, it's like, it's like, look at her sweater. She's got two op, op, yeah, homers two, my, in, I agree. In there. Yeah, I agree. Two, yeah, like, talk about bombs, yeah. right? Yes, yeah, right. yes. I, I thought Oppenheimer it. had bombs. It's a, exactly. it's a show yeah. for like, you know, it's a, we want a four quadrant right, thing. Right. You want to be like making, compa- mm-hmm. again, like the bomb stuff. But is that's like for pretty inside sad. the room, like exactly. you know, the green room of a, of a comedy show yes. like this. Yes. Some of the most depraved, uh, freakish ideas yeah. ever. The stuff like this bomb stuff you're doing. Yeah, I know. Again, and that, that just, lives there, and you don't. You don't want to get into the actual story of the movies you're you're describing. You Canadians know. are creatures of the night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and and, uh, and so they don't necessarily all uh, see the movie and like yeah the story or what it's saying yeah. or um, the themes is like we know how long it is. Yeah, and we know the measurements exactly. of yes. fucking certain yes. plastic. Yes. And the main the main guy. Hunky fuck machine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dolly Big Boo. Yeah. No. The. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That. Sci- that yeah. Hunky, I don't want to ignore science. That hunky fuck. sort of odd sort looking, of frail, sort of frail. Yeah. Uh, very ashen. Yeah, that guy fucks right, and so oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Compare that to uh, Barbie, the big boobies. I mean, it just yeah. it's right there. It's no. Right there. Yeah. That I I know I I like it, but it's like we all know it works. But then I do think it's important to talk about sometimes why it works and all the kind of landmines you avoided and ways that you could have worded mm-hmm. it that wouldn't have had the same impact. Right. And but created I created this face from Greta. Yes. Yeah. And I just want to say to be able to step up and to make that kind of observation, it like, because honestly, right now, you really cannot say that. And it starts in schools. Yeah. Like, I yeah. remember, like, I remember 
education seeing the Barbie, reform, pointing at yes. it, saying big boobies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big boobies on them. Mm-hmm. And being told, hey. Hey, you can't mm-hmm. say you, you that. Cannot, you I said, cannot be told. You know what? I remember, I remember, the, I have the same memory. And yes. I remember thinking, just wait. Hey guys, this year you can make great style effortlessly easy with Stitch Fix. I know what you're thinking. Stitch Fix? No. Stitch Fix is a company that's like a genius bar for if your stick is broken, you bring it to Stitch Fix. Now now I know what you're thinking. Stitch Fitch? No. Stitch Fitch is a different company. It's a tail, it like fixes your broken clothes if they're Abercrombie and Fitch clothes. Mm Mm-hmm. No, this is Fish Stitch, it's, which is no, it's not Fish Stitch. Go ahead. That's a different company. You yes. can describe what they do, but that's okay. not what this is. Oh well, Fish Stitch is when you have like gutted and cleaned a fish to prepare it to be eaten, and then you realize that you've made a horrible mistake, and that fishes deserve to be whole. They will reassemble the fish for you and put it back in the water and move it around. That's, that's not. That's not what this is. It's none of those things. It's not Fish Stitch. It's not Sticks Fix. It's not Stitch Fitch. They move its mouth and do like a little voice for it where it's like, thanks for putting me back together. This is Stitch Fix. The stylists just get you. They do all the work, giving you the time to focus on your resolutions and everything else on your plate, which is not a fish, but for but for different, not related to this company. Well, the fish I'm talking about doesn't go on a plate either. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. but that's not related to this company. Unrelated. Buying clothes is hoard. And Stitch Fix is an easy way to get clothes that fit you, not that the Abercrombie Fitch clothes that are broken, mm-hmm. and that you fix fix them at Stitch Fitch. And if you go, if you company. do use Fish Stitch, this isn't a commercial for that, but if you use it, it's likely that your clothes get pretty messy because mm-hmm. if you're cleaning a fish, and also if you're at a in a mental state where you're not sure you should be cleaning it, it's likely that you're going to be getting some fish stuff on you. Without having to endlessly browse through options. Or break the bank with your stick. And yes, it, it, it's a problem that we all have where you need to break your piggy bank, but your stick is also broken. So how are you going to pay to get it fixed at Sticks Fix? Sticks Fix will like will like will fix your stick and then you can break your piggy bank. Sorry, but this and, is Stitch Fix. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They have over a thousand brands and styles and do the work of choosing the best options for you. They'll even show you how to wear head to toe outfits so you can just get dressed and Which go, whether you're going to also, the fishing uh, And they'll also hole put a head to toe outfit up on yeah, the fish. Whether you're going to the piggy bank or- To show like yeah. how it's alive. It's like basically totally back to normal. It's even better now. It's wearing clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they give the fish actually a very fancy outfit, and then the voice becomes sort of like uh, this kind of proper, like pseudo British kind of voice. And if you don't love something, just send it back. Or if you love something, cheerio the, then, like pip, a fish, pip, swim away, I shall. Well. You know that sort of thing. Shipping returns and exchanges are always free. Thanks, Stitch Fitch. They just get me. They'll get you too. Try today at Stitch fix.com slash the boys you'll get 25 percent off when you keep everything Thanks, in stitch your fix. fix they just get me they'll get you too try today at stitch fix.com slash the boys you get 25 percent off fix.com when you keep everything in your fix the boys that's stitch fix.com slash the boys stitch fix.com slash the boys life can be ridiculous but you know what's not funny getting ripped off and harry's agrees i'll say now for We've worked with Harry's for a long time. Couldn't agree more. I appreciate Punk. that they give us different kind of areas to work in and have and this like different perfect for me. types of conversations. And for this one, the ideas we talk about, what's the funniest thing that happened to us recently? We have Clean Harry here, uh, who is a museum guard or former museum guard. I'm looking, I'm applying to other museums. Okay. It's hard because if they check my references, there's no way they're going to hire me. Is it maybe the like not museums anymore? Or we do we maybe move on from museums? Is that the issue? Well, I mean, I don't want to. Where am I going to eat my lunch? So that was part of being a museum guard is that you would eat your lunch at the museum. That was yeah. that was an essential thing for you. Yeah, okay. they have a little uh, cafe. Okay, we need to talk to you about the funniest thing that happened to you recently, or just like a ridiculous or fun situation that you... Oh, that's not what I took away from the prompt. Okay. It said, no, what's not funny, getting ripped off. 
Okay. Boy, I'll say punk. So your th- I thought your thing was hating beards. I do. Okay. But, also- but I'll tell you what's not funny. Uh-huh. Getting beards ripped off. Okay, so you but you that is what you do to people or you shave no, them. No, I Okay. I'm clean, hairy punk. I think Harry's razors are the best way to keep that beard gone. But some people think that what would be funny is if when I'm asleep, they put tape on my face and rip my beard hair off. So you and have that's not a funny, beard punk. sometimes? I, I thought you were tried clean, it. hairy. Okay. <laughs> I'll try anything. Just like uh, these the, museums all recognize def- me without my beard. Def- Oh my god. It's your defining characteristic. Your name is Clean Harry. Um, my name is I Need a Museum Job. Pronto. Instead of charging the same stupid high prices, Harry's found their own... Let him steal own... one Matisse. Okay. I thought it was that you let other people steal because you were at Yu-Gi-Oh! card I did let them yeah I let them steal one Matisse oh you let them steal one Matisse yeah. okay Harry's found their own way to make beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of other brands exceptional products honest prices that's Harry's German engineered blades customizable delivery oper- options for scheduled refills as low as two dollars get a five blade razor weighted handle foaming shave gel and a travel cover for just three bucks yeah that's Harry's- how you shave not with tape for just three bucks at harrys.com slash the boys skin softening body wash and sends like red world wild lands and stone getting ripped off isn't funny switch to harry's no, get started no. with a 13 dollar trial set for just three dollars at harrys.com slash the boys that's harrys.com slash the boys for a three dollar trial set looking to sell my Yu-Gi-Oh cards Hollywood handbook. okay what's i watched next? barbie i loved it i really did love it um I don't want you guys to think that I'm a creep, but it was kind of weird being attracted to a plastic doll. Oh, man. Uh Uh-huh. It's just something about your eyes, Ryan. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So So, let's stop for a second. (laughs) So (laughs) you had me in the first half. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew what I was. You thought. Not going to lie. Yeah. I I actually was like, and I liked it even then. Uh Uh-huh. You know, um, being attracted to a plastic doll. Okay, yeah, that is a little strange, uh-huh. right? I, but it's also having like sex with a doll. Universal, you know? yeah. But yeah. Every, it's a little strange. But it. everyone is like, okay, I get, I get this. It. Like because we're on, we're, we're just on yeah. a normal because, you know, tip that's right I now. Laid yes. in, exactly. Right before that, this idea of big plastic boobies. You showed your math. You showed your math. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? You established the doll as and plastic then boobies. I and then it's you like, with the riot. Now, I'm get, talking about a Ken doll. <laughs> you get dragged into a male doll. A man. Like, Imagine. Yeah. And, in, and his eyes. Like, you're looking at his eyes yeah. and, and wanting to have sex. And I was proud that I didn't mention the big plastic uh, bump where a penis would be. Because that, to me, that's just grotesque and mm-hmm. not worth bringing up. We talk about boobies. Well, it would have been, I think, for me, a big turnoff. Exactly, yeah. To hear you talk about the penis bump. Uh, and w- and instead, what I got was a turn on. Yeah, and I told the room, I was like, I am I see why this is funny, but I'm not, like, I don't want, I don't want people watching to think I'm, I'm gay. That Or a creep, and, like you just said. Like, you know. Well, so like, and it's like not gay. Like, I'm looking at your eyes right now. I'm looking at your eyes right yeah. now. It's fine. You know, no, I, you I don't can appreciate and like enjoy the panic. beauty of, of someone's eyes. But what, what I love about the joke is it does live in this, this perfect center of the Venn diagram uh-huh. where it is funny to imagine you liking a guy. Because that would be That's gay. what they said. That's that, what but they you're said. Not, and but I you're was not saying anything about sex parts which would be a little too gay a little gay that's what i told the room i was like uh they finally convinced me i was like eyes i look at eyes all day so yeah. i will i'll meet you i'll meet you there because i understand the, the rhythm of the joke mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. once we get into body parts now we're actually exploring something where it's yeah, like i don't want to get there yeah yeah um and he's loving it the whole show just close your eyes Ryan. everyone just looks into your eyes and, and margo it's not always about you 
Got her. <laughs> the key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Bad breath. I mean, you see these actors on screen with that stanky breath. No, oh, I I said bad breasts. Oh, okay. okay. It really sounded like you said oh, bad really breath. Living in that same. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. No, that, I said bad breasts. Is that a teeth? It did say. Issue. It was hard to hear was, what you said. Yeah, no. It, the teeth sometimes get in the way. Uh, but I did say bad breasts. Um, uh huh. Just to sort of, you know. It, it, we already established that Barbie has perfect boobies, so a character actor thus bad breasts. It, it, what I like is a lot of it is for everyone. Everyone knows how long the movie is. Right. Everyone knows what fucking titties look like. Uh -huh. The the thing that maybe people don't always know is what a character actor is, which is someone with bad breath or whatever you said. Yeah. And, and, and their flat feet, feet. Their feet. yeah, yeah. Their flat feet. oh their my feet. god i i don't i have you ever like watched an audition are you i i see some of these movies with these freak shows yes. and i just imagine being waited on by someone whose feet are against the bottom of their shoe oh. you can hear it. like a paul giamatti type actor like you can hear when he walks across the even like the frame even if you can't see his feet they're just slapping plump, the ground plump. right yeah yeah right yeah. No, it's it's full surface contact. Every inch of the sole is against the linoleum. So I, yeah, I mean, I think that's sort of most people. Even if you don't work in Hollywood, I think most people recognize that. Just when you watch a movie, most of the no, people you're watching have. It, that's what I mean. Is it's for the room, and the room loves it. But me out here, I'm learning something. Uh -huh. You know, not me, but someone. Right. I'm learning something, and it's like seeing them enjoy it and feeling like I'm inside of this special club it is okay to go you know a little niche not talking about the, the it's topic inside, of but any like, movies but but, yeah. but I mean think about this room even if you didn't know that everyone's leaving the theater tonight knowing oh yeah flat yeah, feet like, I now like know Alfred that. Molina has cellulitis yes, yes. he's yes. a great actor but like, yeah but, but he has cellulitis cellulitis is a flesh eating disease but maybe the actually I should have used that. I should have used that. that okay, I thought Maybe you did. We, Again, it was kind of hard to. Right, that might be. Right. A I couldn't totally. No, I said I bad breath, cellulite, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and flat feet. <laughs> some I wrote. Some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here. <laughs> okay, can okay, wait. That. Yeah. Let's talk about, like, yeah. the, I guess the process. You seem to want everyone to be aware of the collaborative environment yes. through which, like, all of, like, a lot of our comedy comes from. Like, well, the idea that know, we just get up here, we just, like, do this by ourselves. And I hate that. And, you know, I I gave no credit to the writers for my first special or my sec the second yeah thing we, we and discuss and, and by and the way is, that's industry standard i mean most yeah. people act like everything you know sprung from their twisted mind yeah no and uh, so i just wanted to make it clear we like do, we some do it on the show. i wrote some other people wrote i've said some shit on this episode that's not that funny that that was written for me you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah. like yeah. and it's we all use other but we don't we don't spend every episode right going through and going like some of this is mine some right isn't. right and to take your special on this big stage in front of all these people and say like hey I can't take all the credit. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And you're not saying that like like the good stuff was mine and the bad shit was no, other no, 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 no. For no, now, no, 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 for no. now, you will, yeah. like that that you're you're not. I, I, that it was not a blame game. It yeah. was just yes. I felt in that At this moment. Point, it's not. Yeah. Exactly, and and, and to give a, a, even any amount of time at all for people to not know. That your, that your shit's the good stuff is like it. I, I I'm a man. Very, so generous. Generous. I'm a yeah. man. No, just to let them, yeah, let them draw their own conclusions exactly. from like when you said that and why. And it is fun. It once yeah. you sort of let people peek behind the curtain, then it is sort of a a guessing game. Like, like yes. well, which one? Which one was written by him? Mm -hmm. Which one was the room? Well, it's interesting because it was said after character actor. Yeah, right. But it wasn't said after big boobies. Can I? I'll let I'll let you in on a little secret. I wrote I wrote big boobies. Okay, I yeah. had See, based a on, feeling. Based on what you were talking really, earlier, yeah. that really yeah. did seem like that boobies. Because I put a little English thing. on it. I was like boobies. Okay, oh, yeah. Kevin. Are you just okay? <laughs> 
playing with my so teeth. So I wrote, some other people wrote, Robert De Niro's here. <laughs> Yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. <clears throat> you got, you're kidding me, right? So this, the character actor joke really seems to have... It made me spiral out a little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, you I turned a corner. Yeah. Your, your entire bearing on stage seems to transform and the teeth almost seem to start <laughs> the, the, rebelling and yeah, something yeah, like yes. trying to escape yes i mean that is true uh i i just lost my cool little let's watch this whole section well, I just let's want, watch I, that whole I, section look, i please. freaked out yes. i didn't know robert de niro was going to be there mm -hmm. that, that seems to be part of it and i needed him to know exactly how long i had been preparing for this moment and just just it, it, this was more of an aside to robert de niro this could this could be and this could be an, an editing thing where i want to see because as hayes pointed out at first certainly you are not um you know differentiating between who's who wrote what or whose jokes are good just or acknowledging bad. the content that other people contributed i just want to that. watch this whole like 45 second it. section sure. and see how okay. Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. Okay. Okay. So how? So. So go back, and I just want to see how long from the first mention to that we allowed. To yes. Yeah, that we allowed people to draw their own conclusion. <laughs> some I wrote. Some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here. Yo, I got the gig ten days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. You got. You're kidding me, right? Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Okay, Look. it was 14 seconds. <laughs> you can't just let it like hang out there forever. Let people think that the ones they're laughing at, which I'm not a hundred percent certain which ones you were thinking of. Uh -huh. Yeah, you've done. But that's another I think, area where four, you do let people you've decide. Done four jokes, and by the mm -hmm. way, you only had ten days. Exactly, you had ten days you've to write. Already four had jokes. To, you've already had to do four, and presumably there might be more uh -huh. coming. Yeah, uh -huh. but and but also presumably you're leading with the strongest. Yes, stuff. sure, sure. My so op well, my Oppenheimers, and we're getting we're getting pretty quickly into even using ones that other people wrote at the top of it is already a noble gesture. Th thank you. Yeah. Um. I, I, it seems like I'm angry here. I'm not angry. I'm just, okay. well, why, why do you think just because you say shut up to everyone <laughs> yeah. and go like, give me a break. Are you kidding Are me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, well, I thought that was going to be a catchphrase for the show. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cool to kind of layer that through your special. You call the special. Are you kidding me? That was, or I am kidding you. I am kidding. I am uh -huh. kidding you. Oh, right. That's good. It's mostly about about movies. Yeah. Like I don't know. Does that connect with? Am like... I kidding you? Movies. Uh, look. I know it's you is said. This, is this seconds. movies? Is it? Is this movies kidding me? <laughs> well, movies are kidding you, yeah. right? So, I mean, yeah, they're ultimately. they're yeah. presenting you with yeah. uh, you know something that is not real and asking you to invest in it. I mean, that's that's kidding. Mo movies i'm that's kidding, kidding. Mo i'm the movie kid are you movies that are kidding me mm -hmm. kidding M movies kid uh shut up just shut the fuck up okay it shut does. up okay uh <laughs> i know 14 that seconds that made me just so comfortable like i i just remember like right before you did that going like what do i do am i supposed to talk <laughs> And most people, it, yeah. most people already are being very quiet yeah. in the room. Yeah. And so to that almost seemed like your issue. Yes. And it so the kind of bravery like, to respond is be like, just be, please be more quiet. I thought that was yeah. funny that a, a dead, a, a awkward, deadly silent room to yell shut up <laughs> was just no. acknowledging. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's it's sort of acknowledging what's humorous in that moment. Yeah. No, it's totally. It's a, it's like a big guy named Tiny or something. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like shut up, room. But it's not. Like but <laughs> it's a a big guy, and you yell, "Big guy!" <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he's right. already yes. big. Yeah, big that's yeah. right. No, I thought it was funny. Um, and you know, you said it was fourteen seconds before I really blamed anyone. But for like, you have to imagine in that moment, that's that's an eternity. 
for me. Or for seconds. me as well. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I, I totally <laughs> believe longer. you. Yeah, it felt way longer. <laughs> yeah, if you had asked long. me before we, yeah, before we started, that was why I wanted to kind of see the entire thing because I thought, I thought from an editing perspective, uh-huh. we may want to give that more room to breathe. But then in seeing it, no, <laughs> it's perfect. And I could see how it would have felt even longer if you if you have realized the mistake you may have made where people are. Th- potentially thinking that the shit that they are loving uh-huh. wasn't your shit no you i know? Yeah. no some i wrote Unclear, some other people exactly, wrote that's kind of soft yeah. and by the way there's a tradition of that right i mean monologue jokes from you know letterman i'll go like i knew that one wouldn't work or something right. you kind of know right. okay he didn't write that one but to go some i wrote some other people wrote you are leaving this space for them to go like oh, oh right hmm. he wrote the bad ones Mm-mm. and the ones that i'm Dying mm. laughing at <laughs> and I could, Oppenheimer length that, yes. that I'm laughing longer than Oppenheimer and that's, lasts. Honestly, in the like on stage, I was seeing people make those calculations yeah. in their head, mm-hmm. and I needed I just shut up. Yeah, let me get there. Let me tell you. Shut up. This I, next part's important. I wrote. I wrote the, the good funny one. shit. Yeah. I had never seen that, and it's rare. You always talk about in comedy, right? You know, nothing new under the sun. Uh-huh. Like, who's really innovating? Who's doing something Kaufman esque? Mm. Uh, and this was to me completely new. I had never Thank seen you. anything Thank like you. it. Yeah. I had seen people sort of blame their writers for a joke they didn't like, but I hadn't seen them clarify. And I am writing things you do like. It was thrilling. Like in the moment, I felt like I was flying. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I'm do, I'm breaking. I felt I was like I'm breaking the sound barrier or something. Like this is no one's done yes, this. And every performer out there is like, yes, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> yes. The shit I did was good. The shit that other people did for me Bad. is busted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Yeah. And that's why they're not the ones doing it. Right. Yes. I mean that's a thing. That's how you earn your tea. Writers and fucking this pathetic losers. Robert De Niro's here. I'm sorry. I'm a fan. I'm a hey, fan. Hey, can I just just what they, they talk about professionalism? Mm-hmm. Can we go back to the shot of Jim Gaffigan uh, registering that the light has gone on yeah. on his camera? Yeah. It. This is yeah. He's a pro. He gave me a lot of tips actually. Camera on. Gaffigan sees the light go on. You can actually see him look at the camera yeah, and see the light go yeah. on and does a big ha. Huh. Yeah. And that's uh that's, that's a colleague. That's brotherhood. Mm-hmm. That's a comedian. When you see the light go on, you do a huh. Yeah. End of the day, we're a family. And Margot did the same. I'm sorry, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm fanning out. I love you, Robert. Okay? If it's awkward, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People didn't catch that. I had to do that in front of me. I know it's. I was saying I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh huh. Because fan. of the movie, the fan. Because the fan. I, he's in the movie, the fan, okay. and no one got it. Yeah. And I wanted to be like, I wrote that. He is people, the fan. People didn't he is see. The fan. People also didn't seem to pick up that you were doing a Robert De Niro yeah. impression, right? As well. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm sorry. I'm that a famous fan. line, right? Yeah. From the movie. From the fan. Yeah. I'm a goes, fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And when you say, "Sorry, I had to do that in front of you," people seem to kind of be thinking like what did you do like Mm -hmm. was something done here i didn't yeah i just didn't really register that was frustrating i thought and i was like i thought i'm performing for cinephiles i thought no they don't they don't actually like no so that was frustrating after yelling that i wrote all the good stuff to write something i really thought would land with a room full of to have done something that couldn't possibly have been written for you to immediately go into something that no one could possibly have ever written for you, which is to say I'm a fan yes. and then go into an impression point. that yes. you have crafted and over yet, time. No, and yet, couldn't that. possibly, and yet, I didn't write it that. was not written for, no, for I, him, I, obviously. I like, people are that. not enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, so, like, I, I, no I know. I was kidding, I didn't write that. Yeah. They said, like... That's what I mean. Like, no. I remember even saying, what's the fan? Well, it's a hall of mirrors, you know? Yeah. I'm a bit awestruck. This guy's amazing. Decade after decade, he just kills it. Decade after Uh decade. Uh Decade after decade, man. Uh, Again, I got to blame the teeth. Decade after decade. Well, that was, I realized we were, 
live and i was gonna say yeah. decade after dickhead yeah and i thought that would be dickhead. funny decade after i kind of like that and, yeah. uh yeah but i realized i'm gonna i'm gonna get bleeped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. time i don't know how you do it man I swear to god your last performance has got to be your greatest performance ever how'd you get her pregnant at 80 CGI, CGI. <laughs> yeah. Is he looking? Is he looking? Is he looking? Are you talking to me? By the way, Killers of the Flower Moon is so, so great. I just want to say, like, you're kind of, <laughs> you're kind of back. Yeah. I, like yeah. we are so back right now. Yeah. I like, and it's, and now I feel like, okay, now I do know which ones he wrote. Your you last know, performance was your best performance. CG. Everyone's thinking it's a the movie. movie. It is actually movie, a, it's an explosive nut. Yeah. Fucking and nutting. An 80-year-old nut yeah. into a woman's uh, and then, and then I go, birth canal. I go, well, great joke, but there's yeah. no tag on it. Yes. Because, especially I, I because I we talk about this started tag. With, the, with, the, with the movie idea. So I yes. was like, but now we're in this world of we're talking about sex and it's a little crass, but then see... CGI. I. Yes. Talk about that. Can I tell you what it stands for? Come goes inside. <laughs> <laughs> the people thought it was confusing. Okay. I didn't know that that's what you yeah, were. Yeah, no, it was. That's, I didn't know. Goes inside. Okay, you did know. Come I didn't know. Inside. I could tell. I did not know that. I didn't know meant. that. But yeah, I could tell you something knew it was, was going yeah, on. Yeah, because, you know, and then, you know, that was a fun one for me. I wrote that because it was <laughs> sort of. I think, you know, it's one of those 10 percenters where like 90% mm -hmm. of the room thought I was referring to uh, computer aided generated, you know, computer yeah. generated graphics. Yeah. Um, yeah. But CGI computer generated graphics. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, what is the I? I, you're asking me it's yeah. inside as far as i'm concerned exactly dude inside, man yeah i mean i, I like to me it was like i don't stuff. even know what these words actually stand for but i know it's movie related so i can yell it but we the 10 percent knows what what this is really kevin's about. screaming at us right now images images see i, I mean to me it's come goes inside kevin's screaming at his screen it's images hey, killers of the flower moon the cast is here Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, Lily Gladstone, you guys crushed it. Crushed it. The one thing I learned about that movie is that white people stole everything. You guys stole everything. Not like 97%, you guys stole 100% of everything. You took the land, you took the oil, you took the premise of the movie. What, that was your premise? <laughs> That's hilarious, I don't care. It's just that the room is really white. Okay, pause it. So, <laughs> so like, you did end up talking about Killers of the Flower Moon. It did, yeah. Uh, I, can I say something, just but my first ADR suggestion? Of course. Maybe go back and see like season one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a callback. D just, just quick, just yeah. before you get in. I don't want to lose any of this. Yeah, no, no. But, but I think there is room some, to there, squeeze there it. There is in. some room there to squeeze that because we there, there's that shot right. on the table. I can just we can just plop that in. I can. I mean, it's like time to own up. I guess like I, me watching that. As a white man, mm -hmm. you're like you're you're talking about like white people stole the land they stole they stole the pre the premise of oil. the movie even yeah. the premise of the movie they and stole my, the oil yes yeah. but my first reaction especially on the premise of the movie was no we did not i got into this defensive place i thought no we didn't steal the premise of the movie i yeah. had a really visceral reaction to that yeah and i and also was not even really knowing like i think in my defensiveness i i didn't really understand what you were even talking about i didn't know what it meant because I, I know that it is a like true historical event that has yes. been dramatized. Uh -huh. Yes. And so Yeah, the premise. I suppose the experience of the people within the movie That's the premise. Belongs to them. That was, and in that sense, any like biopic or anything, uh -huh. the premise has been stolen. Yeah. No, I, I which uh, which by the which now I don't 
disagree with at the time that I watched it just a second ago. I was livid. Well, I was fuming. But but then when I said that is funny, I don't care. That must have relaxed. I, I it made me Oh damn, that is funny. It made that's, me that, just that, that's what, that's take what a I step yeah. back. Well, he said, I don't care. That's hilarious. Yeah. I don't I, care. When you said that, man, I just went like what am I all wound exactly. up about? Exactly. That's just, was, a, that's just was, releasing a pressure was, valve oh, in the dude, room. It's just no, like, you, I don't care. Shut you up. You took all the air out of my tires. That is funny. And I'm revving up my monster truck about to run you over. You white psh, devil. The fucking, it was, a, you said, yeah, you said there's a lot of white people in the room guilty. And uh -huh. I go, and I go, man, why am I sweating the small stuff? And it's all small stuff. Exactly. Exactly. And then I have to look back at the other ones of like, were those also funny? Uh -huh. You know? Oh, uh -huh. totally. Oh, totally. I I really didn't know what you meant when you said the premise of the movie. I just didn't know I, what but it meant. That's my own. That's I my baggage. Just, and I, I knew it was at me. And I and I think my reaction of going, no, we didn't. And then and then you going, come on, that was your premise. And I had and I have to then also kind of throw uh -huh. my hands up and go. I, well, no, I guess I can't defend that. I you can't know, say it, it was is, mine. You know, have you ever like said a word so many times it like loses all meaning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it was that's right how, in that joke. I like was just saying the word, word premise. Is, is, Prem is, premise. 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 Okay. That's not your premise. 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 And then that got me into a funny place where I was like, this word means nothing. Well, it made me also like take a look at some other movie as we're talking about where yeah. I'm like that I maybe gave a pass and I'm thinking here of Sully. That's not your premise. That's not your premise. That that premise belongs come on, to Sully. That, come on. That was your premise? Give me a break. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. That is, I mean, I'm laughing. That's funny. I don't yeah. care. I don't care. I don't care. That's I don't funny. care. Sully, not Sully. So, Sully, not Sully. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, I love that man. That might be ADR. I, I don't know where it yeah. goes. That, Sully, not Sully. It could go right there. <laughs> yeah, so, that's Wait, can a we good go cat. back? Can we try that? Sully Actually, not can we go Sully? to the, yeah. the shot Plug of that the, the table? Let's yeah. lay in that ADR right now. The thing I learned about that movie is that Sully, not Sully. White oh. people. Just a little more. You know more. what? As we do time. pause this, I liked this phrasing that I wouldn't have expected. One thing I learned about that movie. <laughs> I would, I would think of it as something you learned from, from the movie. From it, no, dude. But it's like one thing I learned about that movie, which is probably more accurate, is someone explained the movie to you so that they could explain the I joke watch to you all so that you I could do it. I only got this yeah. job ten days ago. I got to watch season one of Killers of the Flower oh, Moon. Nice. Oh, yes, nice. season one. Yes, love this. Crushed it. Crushed it. It's only not so One thing I learned about that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> got it. Stuck in it. You're recording, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's gonna work. We got it. The room's like, yeah, we did take it, and <laughs> I was being like, I that. want salt yep. burn. I want salt burn. I want salt burn. Did you watch? Salt you know burn? what I loved about salt burn? The writers I did. Yeah, I kind of don't. <laughs> I kind of was not buying that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want. I mean, movie's something kinda, even just that about movie's like kind of gay. Yeah, I was wondering I didn't want because people to of the actually think I watched it. I was yeah, like, this is, this shit's moment cool. where you were walking such a right. tightrope. I, I thought. you know, I wanted. I was like, if I say I watch Sal Saltburn, I was. Like, I just watched the eyes of Saltburn. Well, it's a, right. it's a tonnage issue too, where it's like if you're gonna say that if you're gonna really watch Saltburn, then you do have to cut the Gosling joke. Exactly. Which, like, yeah, Barbie's no, a bigger movie. Like, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I was convinced to just say I saw it. Yeah. Chaos or you movie. watch I learned it. that satanic families have feelings too. <laughs> is Barry Keoghan here? Is Barry Keoghan? Where's you, Barry Keoghan seated? You busted Where? yourself up with that Where, one. I, oh, that's I, all I, I was saying. Where's your penis wrong. seated? <laughs> Down front? That was the real star of the show. That was the real star of the penis. Barry penis. Where's your penis seated? Talk to me about that. Um, and how does this... I haven't, this, I haven't seen Saltburn. This theme of your... In your comedy, just like uh -huh. watching uh -huh. a movie and pointing at the screen and saying "boobies, boobies, penis." Yeah, yeah we're yes, yeah. penis, um, boobies. I mean, I was mostly looking at his eyes, but there is a scene where his, yeah. he's got a big floppy dick 
he's just got a big floppy dick, you know, and uh, so big that it's like because that was confusing because he was like, "Where's your penis seated?" Uh-huh. So it's not that it's like detached and it's like no, no. If you watch like, the movie, it's attached. Then it, it is attached. And it is floppy chair. Okay. Um, I didn't watch it. Yeah, and that's sort of that is it. sort of the joke. I'm of married. Like, can you like, uh, like it is funny to imagine that it's detached, and in in a different. Or that it could, I guess that it could reach all the way to the front row. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of that. To a that different is, seat. Yeah. yeah. And he said, I mean, well, well, not just front row. He said down and front. Down and front. Down which is, I guess front. is what you could say to a penis that was so big so and tall. tall. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't see. I can't see <laughs> the screen. Hey, no, down in front penis. What's good? Well, that's something I learned uh, about that movie is that uh, the, the penis... It, and what's what makes a joke good is if it's open to interpretation like yes. this. You know, mm-hmm. that you, everyone's sort of visualizing I'm something. picturing so many different seating arrangements yes. for yes. the penis. What um, I had liked, you know, in the moment, too, is that I have heard some, like, discourse around the movie Saltburn yeah. and some discussion of yeah. it. And I didn't know anything about dude's penis. Yeah. And so that made me go, like... Oh, I guess that's part of the well, movie right. or something. If if the zeitgeist, <laughs> if the meme bring the zeitgeist to you, yeah, yeah. If yeah. the memes are about him drinking cum. I'm like, yeah. I don't care. Let's talk about the penis in front, down in front, down in front, the tall penis. Yeah, yeah. It would have been too easy to make a joke about drinking cum, and I'm not gonna do that. No, no. If, you haven't, seen Sol- if you haven't seen Sulfur, you probably have no exactly. idea what I'm talking about. So watch it. Then you'll understand what I was talking about. And then right after that, watch Barbie. And then you're going to be like, Something, something's missing. And then watch Maestro. And you'll be like, oh, there it is. It's on Bradley Cooper's face. Mm-hmm. What? Okay. So, yeah. I, I, thank you for taking me on that journey. Uh, I just want to so say thanks. So many points. Now that I, now that I have been like carried and walked to, you know, uh-huh. to the exact idea of so many different things i'm ready to be a little bit uncomfortable and Thank lost you. yeah people say might say there must be a shorter way to get there did we need to like go back to barbie mm-hmm. which by the way i did see barbie i'm married but i watched it could you yeah I, and and i and i did um they don't really explicitly explore uh, like th- him saying something's missing. Like they're not showing like a nude. Uh, no, I you mean, know, this is again this lack is of genitalia or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, but he's just saying it's just, it's just, it's just, just talking about your joke, yeah. which I yes. love. Yeah. He, Me. you're saying you go watch the movie. I like how many times you said go watch the movie, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Right. And then you could feel I didn't know what the fuck you were talking you, about. You uh-huh. could have just come right off of. Uh, the the previous joke, uh-huh. where's your penis sitting today? Mm-hmm. Down in front, and just gone to like I haven't seen an appendage that big on screen since Maestro, right? But, but why not? No, no, no. I think tell say, people to see three different movies. Well, first, first, yes. Yeah. First of all, it's well, we're it's, celebrating it's, the movies. Yes. But here's my thing. Of course, you say, "Where's your penis seated?" Oh, it's on Bradley Cooper's face. Yes. No, that's. But he's not, doesn't have it. He doesn't have it because he's not in Maestro right now. But he doesn't have it. He's not in Maestro right now. That is one way to go. But for me, the magic is sort of in visualizing a penis, then the absence of that penis. But it, and then, and that which return, again is not shown, yeah, which is yeah. not shown in the movie Barbie. No. Then no. go watch Barbie and you'll say yeah. something's missing. Right. But you. Yeah. No. But I think you won't. I think to me. But you I could. It's kind of gay to be like, Matt, you, this big penis. And then to go and then talk about another, like, penis. Yeah. You need to break that up. You need no to break it up. Well, with no penis. Be, when it becomes yeah. a nose, it's not, it's not gay at all. Yes. It's a, it's As a married nose. guy, I did need just like a little palate cleanser. That's of what I'm saying. No penis. Yeah. Just yeah. like, just, can we please can we just have just, no penis? Let's just live in between for half a second. And by then, I was not. ready to be like, okay, I'm ready yeah. to, for another penis. Yeah. Like, I'm ready yeah. to see. But it's on, about that. Uh, it's in Maestro on his face. Yeah. That big Jewish knot <laughs> is a penis. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. 
Look at those it's eyes. hilarious. It's mad. I was watching my show. I was like, that thing was dancing in Saltburn. See, that, is that the same? Is that the that's penis? Scene. It okay. dances that's in the it. Scene. Yeah, he's da- he's the, dancing or the penis is dancing. I mean, it's sort of like chicken or the egg, really. Like which which? Yeah, I just feel like if you're watching it saying that nose was dancing, uh-huh. but it was actually a guy dancing who just had a penis. Yes. So that's what it is a guy dancing. You know what? I like yeah. the joke. I, I just American, don't. So. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been able to. It, uh, my wife. This uh, is so frustrating because I, I told the room we need to talk about Barbie in between those. Like, right. Yeah. Well, it's I such can't, a big movie. We should have. It's such on, a big movie. <laughs> on the way, <laughs> on the way back from. So maybe we could put in. Yeah. Actually, ADR. Yes. Yes. I think it would be that. Schnoz on the way back so from big, Maestro to Saltburn. What what if there wasn't one on Ken <laughs> and uh, Saltburn dance? Great, great, I love that. Okay, let's see see a little. Daniel more. Brooks is Danielle Brooks. Where's Daniel Brooks? Daniel Brooks is here. Fantasia's here. Where's Fantasia? Coleman Domingo. All in the color purple. By the way, the color purple is also what happens to your butt when you take Ozempic. Let, that, it, let it run. The room, half the room is cringing and the other half is like, I gotta get home and grab my selfie stick. Let it be run. home after the Globes. Man, he was lying. It's more of a magenta. Let it run. I love this year's nominated TV show. Stop it. Like, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, you gotta kind of like feel. Well, I needed a break from rap. movies. I, I mean, is anybody else sick of movies and TV and shit? I mean, we're gonna talk about TV now, but and I shit. needed a fucking break, dude. Uh, and you really brought me there. And I'm going, oh no, he's gonna talk about the color purple. He's gonna talk about this movie again. But then it really just became about a joke about the actual literal. No, it was color good. I, I thought it was good to acknowledge uh, the few black actors in the room all sort of segregated from the rest of my monologue. And but then, then immediately transitioned into talking about a... A, a, a swollen you know. asshole. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like a pussy swollen asshole. That's oh, so what, oh, okay. So that's what you were referring to. I thought you were just, for some reason, make, like lying. Because then you say that you're lying mm-hmm. and that you want you want people to go home and check and see but if... He, but they're lying, but it was more of a magenta. Are, okay. So it was magenta. actually... And, but, and I also thought Ozempic just made you like not eat as much. I didn't think it That's made right. you like. I didn't know about that. I think he may. I think I that, I kept saying let it run because I thought he said go home and Google the side effects or something like that. No, but, no, 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 no. Look, not yeah. all no, premise. He just said look, to go home and watch three movies. Oh, so. yes. You can't. Everyone who's there is you probably can't like, steal I should have watched this before it came. You can't steal a premise if you make it up. Right. Okay. That was the point I was making. It was like, hey, yeah. De Niro, Scorsese, watch The Master. I'm right. making up a I'm premise right now. I'm not stealing right some now. premise. The like color you purple, stole oil. your butthole turns purple. Okay. From not wanting to eat as much. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it, you know. Is think, it a side effect? Yeah, is medicine it, has side effects. I, is the, it from wiping? The way there, it was yeah. presented. I get to you know within the context of your special, yeah. which I'm enjoying. Thank you. Was that everyone knows about this one famous side effect right that your asshole turns purple mm-hmm. well it's what more do of a magenta it? but that's the thing but, we, but yeah, that's eventually because the movie's not called the color magenta no but well then people would just be like oh i know exactly that where was, he's going with this that's right but yeah um it feels like none of us knew that no one did yeah and that's why it's funny is I mean this is there's so much more, yeah. Let's just let some run and we'll do we just, want to let the whole thing quick run. Recap. Yeah, yeah, let's, just let, let it run. Yeah, we'll let's let the quick. whole thing run because we obviously it's really good, Joe. Thank you and congratulations. And we could again. we could even do it at two x speed or perhaps I don't know. Yeah, might want to get it get it kind of cruising. One yeah. and a half. One yeah, and a half. half. Okay. Good. Succession is coming to an end after four beautiful seasons. I loved it. I loved everything about it. The one thing that this show taught me is if you're a billionaire, pull out. None of them are going to be like you. 
You're going to be a bad version of you. Just pull out. There's billionaires in here. That was the problem. Pull they out. weren't enough like him. Upstairs. Yeah. That's what the show said. You know, another, uh, maybe some ADR is uh, do not CGI. <laughs> right? Do yeah. Not CGI. Do not CGI. CGI. Oh, There's yeah. one thing I learned about Succession. Do not CGI. Yeah. See, I, do you hear me say CGI? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's even better. Yeah. CG, CG, CGOB. On butt? <laughs> I think on back, but. Uh oh. Yeah. They're all good. You yeah. Know? It's like whatever you want. Like Wait. CGOB. Boobies. Wow. <laughs> yes. Come on. But that's boobies. a. That's a we set, have to do that. That's a set ender. Come but you, you, you have on another. You have months. another three minutes. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> that, mo- that, that show did teach me. Uh, I'm not a billionaire, but it said, you know, pull out because your kids won't be enough like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that was the issue is that they just weren't. They, yeah. They, bad. They're not going to be like you. Yeah. Yeah. The system itself works, but the kids were. That's good. Let's watch it. You got more? You like clapping like nine, really? Just a great series about a rich, white, dysfunctional family, all scheming. Oh, no, that's the crown. That's the crown. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. How great was Imelda Staunton in the crown? Wasn't she amazing? The portrayal of the queen was so good, Prince Harry called her for, and asked her for money. Like I said, I didn't write all these. That yeah, was see, because uh, that was sort of like I was British wondering stuff. because it felt like you... I was like, I don't know this British shit. <laughs> yeah, I felt like you um, you had abandoned the catchphrase you had thought about doing before of, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? And I thought, well, is there going to be anything that ties this back to the beginning when I was really feeling it? Uh-huh. And... Um, Saying again that you didn't write all of these, and now I can fill in the rest. You only wrote the funny ones, right? That I'm loving, right? And I mean, we're training have... off of what we all know about Prince Harry, which is that he is like always calling the Queen and being like, "Can I have some money?" I please? get, yeah, yeah. I didn't write that. I don't even know what that shit's about. Yeah, who's for, <laughs> I Prince think Prince Harry. Harry I, I just, Harry. I already picture the phone in his hand. Yes, hello, mum. Yeah, he's in one of those dumb red phone boxes. Spot the, mm-hmm. spot the quid, mum. You know, yeah. he's doing the. Mm-hmm. Oh, I you could have done. You could do that. that. I mean, I should have had you guys in the room, not these fucking yeah. losers. Yeah, it sounds dumbass. Like got some real fucking, fucking duds. duds. I mean, you, yeah. Make it more. Yeah. Michael will still get paid millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing, and that's just by Netflix. <laughs> Ted, I have Look, a deal too. I have a deal. Chill. Yeah, see, because they're acting like only murders in the make building. That joke. Mm-hmm. Five nominations tonight. You have a deal too. On that show, you don't know whose side to be on. That's how I feel about Daryl Hall and John Oates. <laughs> Which one is Oates? Is it the one with the thick This was funny. <laughs> this was good. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do <What? I>, <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know? Fuck That's, you. Fuck <laughs> 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 Shit! Oh, very, you motherfucker! Very disorienting. Oh, very, uh, yeah, I get you. Very, very, I've been very, waiting. <laughs> Look, I'll say this: I've been waiting thirty years to make that joke. <laughs> Now's oh, the time. That's what I said. I wrote that one. This is not okay with me. <laughs> because, <laughs> I was like, "Where is he going? Who signed to be on?" Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Yeah, I wrote that. Oh, Very strange. Shit. Very <laughs> strange. No, it wasn't. I hadn't been thinking about them at all. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about. No. You don't even have to be oh. in Hollywood for that one. No. no. You have to be anywhere. You don't have to do anything ever again. That's right. <sighs> That's how I feel. I mean, it just I sometimes you just have to say how you feel. Oh, I needed that. Oh, <laughs> play it. <laughs> Speaking of blondes, Meryl Streep. Yeah, Let it famous run. blonde. My mom's favorite, right there. Meryl Streep is nominated for a Golden Globe tonight. What's he gonna say? Well, you can't go out tonight Meryl Streep in this show. Yeah. Duh. Mm-hmm. She's not coming to an award show unless you give her a nomination. She's got thirty-four nominations. This woman. There's nothing she can't do. This is the greatest of all time. That's the goat right there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what she plays, she kills it. My mom loves you. Everybody loves you, Meryl. You know my favorite line from you? Legendary. This one I hold in my heart. I say it all over, like every time. The way you said it, it just just stuck with me. The way you said, Wakanda forever. (laughs) 
It's, it's, it's brilliant. Do it again. Like, you better cross, cross, cross. Wakanda forever. Do it. Yes! That's it! Speaking of Wakanda forever, here's some hints about our first presenter. I'm going to give you some hints. You ready? Sorry. What did all you... Power- what? <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> That wasn't scripted. I I, I was just flying yeah. so high from the Hall and Oates thing that I just kind of ripped. Um, and I think in the moment I thought it was funny. Like I knew my mom would like this. My mom loves her. I just I wanted to end on a confusing note. Yeah. Well, and they got some they crowd, need you I to love, come back. You out. love crowd participation. What I love is because you do take these breaks, and so yeah. like I'm at this special, and I go, well, I can't wait for him to come back out because I wonder if he's going to explain what I just was here yeah. for. Nope. And it's especially if I'm sitting somewhere where I can't see her. Uh huh. It's an acknowledgement too. Like she came out and I appreciated it. She she didn't have to be there. Thirty six nominations. Uh. And you're thinking about someone who died as well. I mean, that's like something that's Mm -hmm. good. You know, we're thinking of an actor who passed away when yeah. we talk about that yeah, movie. Yeah, but, but so it's like, better if a white lady does it sort of in a mocking fashion. I thought that was that would be sort of a fun way to. Well, your mom loves her. My mom loves her. Her favorite. <laughs> so yeah, that's the special, and I can't wait for people to to see <sighs> see oh, it yeah, when it comes out. <laughs> what? Where, where did you even? That's like, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know either, man. Yeah, seek help. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, don't. I want to keep being able to Thank laugh. Yeah. Uh, of all the ones, stay sick <laughs> that you've that you've come on the show to 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 run through with us. This was um, this felt like the longest. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, for it's sure, the even though I think only it is actually, yeah. yes, yeah. And I, I think that means I'm growing, right, mm-hmm. as a performer, mm-hmm. yeah, as a writer. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's so much more substantive what you're doing because it really is heartier, and it does feel like it's heartier takes forever it's, to, yes. to, to. I don't want to say endure certain types of <laughs> soups that have like so much in them that you like look down at the bowl and you're like, I feel like I've been eating this right. for so long, mm-hmm. and that it's like a soup full of spinach, yeah. Mm. Can I talk my shit real quick? Bye. (laughs) That was a HeadGum Podcast.